Did you tell people you didn't go to the train station that evening after school? I know all the trains ended up being cancelled and you walked home. But we've got you on CCTV entering the station, following Tammy Galloway. You told your friends and one of my colleagues you didn't go anywhere near the station that night. You told them you walked home straight from school. But that's not true, is it? We've got you on another camera, stood on the platform next to Tammy Galloway. You appear to be talking to her. What were you saying? Look at the little hard man sitting there in silence. Well, we can play it out like this for as long as you like, mate. It doesn't bother me. I get paid to be here. And I can keep you locked up down in cells for another 18 hours before I need to decide what to do with you. I can finish my shift, go home, take a dump, have a meal with the family, play with the kids, watch some TV, take a shower, get a good eight hours kip, have some breakfast, come back to start my next shift and you will still be here, down in the cells, waiting for me so we can start this again. How did you find it down there earlier? You don't like women, do you, Aidan? I don't mean sexually. In general, they scare you, don't they? They make you feel inferior. And when you feel inferior, you lash out. We've seen the way you treat your mum. We've seen the bruises on your girlfriend's wrists and we've heard all about how you've been tormenting Tammy Galloway at school for months. There's a... There's no tales of you starting anything with any lads though. That's strange, isn't it? The problem we've got with the CCTV on the platform is when the train starts to pull in, everyone on the platform bunches up to pile on the train and we can't see you and Tammy anymore. We don't know how what happens next happens, but this is what we do know. You were at the station, despite what you claim. You were talking to Tammy. You were stood right next to her. And when that train pulled in, somehow she ended up under it. Well, we've got a lot of very confused, very contrasting witness statements so why don't you tell us what actually happened? How did Tammy die? Did she jump? Did she fall? Or was she pushed? <laughs> it's pretty damning that you lied about being there. But, nevertheless, I'll be honest with you. Personally, I think she jumped. You're a dumb lad, but... I don't think you'd be stupid enough to push someone in front of a train, in front of a station full of people. But I have a feeling that even if she did jump, you pushed her. Mentally. You wore her down. You just couldn't leave her alone, even outside of school. We know that's not even the train you normally take home. You take one, headed in the other direction, that leaves from a completely different platform. So why were you even stood next to Tammy? What were you saying to her? How did she end up being killed by that train, Aidan? No. Still nothing? Do you know anyone who spent any time inside a Young Offenders Institute? They'll tell you it's something of a holiday camp, but the reality? Starkly different. There's no women for you to push around for a start, I'll tell you that. Anyway, that's my shift over. I'm going home. The missus has cooked a curry and I might be able to catch the end of the footy after putting the kids to bed. Seen anything good on Netflix you'd recommend? See you in about 16 hours then. 
enjoy a cheese and tomato sandwich. Sleep well. Oh, actually, if you don't mind, I might ask my colleague, Detective Hollis, to sit in with us in the morning. I think you'll like her. I just know how you love strong women. <laughs>